What's up, fellow freedom fighters? It's Matt McLiberty here on FMFP TV. For your markets, for your people. And I'm here bringing you today a brief history of communism in the world. Just in case you're not quite up to snuff on your history. You know what I'm saying? It's a little history lesson for you. So communism was invented by Karl Marx in 1868. Okay, he wrote a book called The Communist Manifesto, which basically laid out the whole communist system of government, okay? Uh, and that's basically what it was. However, <laughs> nobody implemented his ideas until like 25 years later, until after the book was written, okay? Uh, with the first ever communist society, the Paris Commune, which lasted like <laughs> three days, okay? <laughs> Uh, and basically it fell uh, because uh, nobody wanted to do work because everyone was just lazy and everything was just kind of shitty. Uh, and they also set fire to all of Paris' buildings for fun. It was They just thought it would be like a funny joke because they're all stupid. Uh, and so after that, then it was like a million years later and then the Russian Revolution happened where uh, Vladimir Lenin, while rising up against the Tsar killed 4.3 billion Russian peasants. Okay, it was really sad. And, uh, it's bad. And then Stalin killed, like, 7.3 trillion peasants while doing his stuff. Okay, and it was really evil. And then at the same time, in China, while the Chinese were busy doing fucking nothing during World War II, uh... Then Mao Zedong was like, hey, what if I kill even more people than Stalin? And he killed 10 bazillion people in China. It was pretty fucking evil. Okay. And basically, then China was like, oh, wait, our government fucking sucks. And now we have to fix it. We have to put little capitalism band-aids on our shitty communist system. And that's why China isn't too bad of a shithole today. Also, around that time, during the 1930s, during the Spanish Civil War, there was a communist faction in Spain. They set up little gay-ass communes in Barcelona, which were fucking shitty, okay? They, all, they only lasted, like, three years, okay? Um, <laughs> the production was terrible. Nobody worked. Everything was bad, uh... Everything was basically shitty, okay? And they, the commune fell because uh, everyone stopped working and they had no food and they had to beg the fascists to come save them. Uh, and that was the end of the Spanish communes. Fast forward to 1989. Berlin Wall falls because of David Hasselhoff. Uh, and then 91. Soviet Union falls because everyone in there hated communism and hated the government, the USSR, and they were like, man, I fucking want to be free capitalism. I want to do capitalism. And then the government, they couldn't help but fall because that's history. Fast forward also uh, North Korea. Um, they have no freedom there. Uh... You ever see that movie, The Interview with Joe Rogan? That's basically North Korea. Also, you can only have ten hairstyles in North Korea. I don't know if you know that. It's a little fun fact for you. Communists watching right now thinking, Oh, hey, you only have ten hairstyles. You know what that's like? You think this hair is going to be allowed in North Korea? I'd be put to death. It's messed up. But yeah, they're still doing it. China, thankfully, has started implementing some capitalist reforms. And that's why they're able to make iPhones so good. And why they have to put they, the suicide bets out in the factories. Uh, but yeah, communism is basically defeated for good. And the world is safe. So thanks for watching, fellow freedom fighters. This has been Matt McLiberty with FMFP TV. Free your markets, free your people. Signing off.